Hello grade 9 science class. Welcome back to another lecture. This is lesson 5 of our electricity unit. Uh, it is titled electric potential energy and that is just a fancy way of saying voltage. Voltage is probably a word that you've heard before. Do you know what it means though? Uh, you've probably read it on like it's a 9 volt battery, it's a 12 volt battery, it's a 110 volt plug, it's a 220 volt plug, but what does that actually mean? Uh, so that's what we're going to talk about today, uh, electric potential energy or voltage. So let's hop right in. Electric potential energy, and you can see this is kind of key point one, it's just electric potential energy is too long. Uh, so when you climb a set of stairs, your body has done work, right? You had to eat your food to make the energy so that you could climb those stairs. The work that you've done to get up there, to get to that height, like I am on my second floor of my house right now, that's called potential energy. And we know that we have potential energy because if everything under me just vanished, I would fall, I would move. I have built up energy that could be expended if I was to move down, if there was nothing under me, if I was to fall. Essentially, the more mass that is moved up the stairs, the more energy that is moved up the stairs, the more potential energy you have. A bigger person equals a bigger splash when they jump off a diving board. You can then use that energy that's been built up to slide down a slide and have some fun or fall into the water and make a big splash. Once you've built that energy up by going up the stairs, um, maybe up to a really high diving board, you can use that energy to do something. Uh, this is what electric potential energy is like. Some work must be done to store energy, but once we have it, we can use it for a whole bunch of different purposes, like running the computer, or running our phones, or powering the lights, or uh, plugging in a toaster. Um, we use this electric potential energy to do work for us. So something has been done to create this potential energy, and then we use it. Uh, we often store electric potential energy in batteries. So we're going to talk about batteries next, uh, key point two. But first, this is kind of a visual illustration. You've got it on your booklet of, of what I'm kind of talking about. An individual walks up the stairs and gets some potential energy uh, and then slides down the slide and uses that potential energy. Essentially, gravity pulls him down and to have some fun and to make a splash. So a battery. A battery is a device that has positive and negative charges separated within it. And we know that when we have positive and negative charges, they're attracted to one another. If these two positive and negative charges, they're, they're on opposite sides of the battery. Uh, it took work. Somebody built this battery uh, and separated these charges. So it took work to separate the charges and to create potential energy. Uh, when a battery is placed in a circuit, so when you put it in your remote, or you put a new battery in your phone, that energy can be used. Uh, another fancy term is an electrochemical cell. So it takes work to make batteries and to separate those charges, but once you have them, they can be used to power things. I like to think of potential energy in a battery as being like the height of the stairs. The amount of energy that is stored in the battery is similar to how many stairs you've climbed. So if you have more potential energy in the battery, that'd be like climbing more stairs uh, on your way to the top of the slide. Uh, more stairs is more energy, uh, more energy within the battery. So we talked about it a little bit. Batteries have two terminals or ends. We call them electrodes. Um, they're two different metals in general. One is a negative end where the electrons start and the other is a positive end where electrons move to. And you've probably looked at a double A battery and there's a little minus sign, a little plus sign on it. And then you look at your remote and there's a little minus sign, a little plus sign on it. And you line them up and it tells you what, to, what you need to do. But w w what are you doing there? You are completing a circuit and you are allowing electrons to flow from a negative side to a positive side. So within this battery, you have an electrical charge buildup on the negative end. Uh, it's described as building up negative terminal uh, of the battery. Uh, which then flows from this terminal to the positive terminal um, because they always flow away from one another and towards the positive end. So this flow is what charges things and what um, powers things and what like makes light bulbs work. Um, so a battery has two ends, positive and negative, 
and electrons flow from the negative end to the positive end and that's why you need to line them up properly in a remote. So we're gonna just have a few terms real quick. Um, energy uh, is the ability to do work. So we've kind of talked about electric potential energy. I kind of talked about all of this already, but let's put it all together. Energy is the ability to do work and potential energy is the energy stored within an object. So if you have poten electrical potential energy, you have the ability to do electrical work. You have, the, you have energy stored in a battery. So electric potential energy is the electrical energy stored in a battery. And it is called this because electrons have stored energy and they have the ability to do work as they flow out of the battery. Uh, so electric potential energy is the energy stored within the battery and they have the ability to do work, to do stuff for you so that you can work on your phone or your computer or to power lights. We also have potential energy in the plugs in our home. So the plugs in your house also have potential energy wired in them, which is why they can power our TVs, computers, stoves, and microwaves. But energy isn't stored in a battery in your wall. Uh, it kind of just comes up to a point and then stops is what it feels like. Essentially, within these plugs, they're wired into the system and this whole system has potential energy, the ability to do work. And when you plug something in, you are tapping into that flow of energy. So in Manitoba, most of our power comes from hydroelectric generators. Uh, essentially, water falls down and we capture that energy of the water falling down and we pump it along wires to power our homes and school. So again, this energy travels along our wires and it must be used as, it, as it's created. The only way you can store energy is in a battery and by separating charges. Um, if you just have power within the wire, it must be used as the charges aren't being separated, they're flowing down that wire. So voltage. Um, voltage is a measure of how much energy is stored. So if you have more volts, you have more energy. Electric potential difference, electric potential energy is voltage. It's all the same. The amount of electric potential energy stored in a battery or outlet. So it's the unit for measuring how much energy we have stored. We have nine volt batteries, 12 volt batteries, 110 volt plugs, 220 volt plugs. Uh, you can have multiple batteries lined up to get yourself 18 volts or any kind of denomination of volts that you want. Um, and a voltmeter is the device that we use to measure the amount of volts or the potential difference between two locations. So one end of a battery and another. So if we have a nine volt battery, we are going to expect that when we put our voltmeter on either side of that battery, it has nine volts. If we've used it for a while, maybe some of that energy will have been used up and only seven volts will be available or six. And then there's a certain point where you don't have enough volts to run the item that you are wanting to run anymore and you need to change the battery. So voltage is the amount of energy that is stored within a battery or within a line ready to use. What I'd like you to do uh, is I'd like you to create uh, or I'd like you to do a little bit of research about one of the following methods of generating uh, electricity and write a little report about how it's actually made. So there's some questions here that I'd like you to consider. Make sure you write these down. Uh, they may be in your booklet already, um, but essentially what is needed to generate the power? How does this method make electricity? Is it common? Is it sustainable? Is there anything else about interesting about this? So just choose one of these and do a little bit of research about how it all works, maybe how much it all costs, how much does a, a solar um, panel cost, and how much does a windmill cost, and how much energy does that make. Just do a little bit of research about one that catches your eye uh, and write a report. Um, and you can hand this in with the booklet when you're done. So thanks very much for watching, everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know. But essentially, voltage is how much energy is stored within a battery or is able to be used. So thanks so much, everyone. I'll see you soon.